All right, joining us now on Hot Copy, uh, one Pac-Man party list representative, Mikey Romero. Congressman Romero, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, Karen, and uh, to all uh, the viewers of Head Start, a pleasant good morning. All right, a little context here. You were actually the first casualty of former Speaker Cayetano. You were the first leader that he removed as head of the party list bloc, uh, being deputy speaker. And he replaced you with Congressman Fred Castro, who um, uh, party list representatives say was uh, not even coming from a party list group. Can you take us first behind the scenes? You didn't want to speak out then. I had asked you for an interview then. What happened uh, during that time? I think that was uh, brought out because uh, I was uh, part of uh, now speaker Lord Alan Velasco's mm -hmm. uh, team that went to Malacanang on uh, September 29th. So the aftermath of that, uh, after the president already told uh, us, as the uh, various leaders of uh, the different parties, uh, I think everyone was there, PDP, NUP, NPC, NP, LACAS, and mm -hmm. the party list block, which is the second biggest block already. We're uh, almost as big as uh, the biggest block, which is uh, PDP. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we were there, we heard the... The president said that to honor the term sharing, and uh, I was hoping that uh, it would be a smooth transition. But uh, I guess uh, after that, uh, Thursday came, that was Tuesday, Thursday came and uh, I was ousted as a deputy speaker representing the party list block. So, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. Uh, I'm was the first that, casualty of war. <laughs> yeah. Was that the only reason, sources tell me, that earlier than that you were also... Um, uh, in other words, um, going around Congress with a manifesto asking for uh, support for Velasco when Cayetano was still speaker, was that actually true? No, it wasn't true. It was never true. Uh, because we believed uh, of the gentleman's agreement at the time of 1521. The 15th month actually ends uh, September 30. So... Ako, naniniwala ako at that time that uh, uh, Cayetano will honor his word and uh, give up uh, the speakership to Speaker Lord Alan on the 30th of September. Mm -hmm. So that did not happen. I, I wasn't going around uh, asking people or congressmen to sign manifesto. It is not needed at that time. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what happened after? Have you been reinstated? already uh no because uh afterwards the ba uh, ang daming nangyari no mm. uh, no now i mean so, you already have speaker velasco um his speakership was already uh, ratified yesterday so to speak in in the lower house but uh, have you been reinstated as deputy speaker no no not yet no and um i'm uh, i'm not okay as it is no i'm uh, Congressman for the Republic of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and uh, this is just, uh, we're just curious, the three other casualties uh, in this leadership row, you have uh, Congresswoman uh, D, also Martinez, who was just with uh, ANC this morning. Uh, were they also reinstated or everybody stays as is first until the budget is passed? Uh, I don't know. It it depends on uh, speaker the new uh, our new speaker Lord Alan Velasco's uh, prerogative. No, mm -mm. but uh, I think the casual piece is uh, one from NPC, one from PDP, and one another one from uh, the Party List Coalition Sharon Garin, mm -mm. Uh, Eric Martinez, and uh, Congresswoman uh, Helen Tan. Mm -mm. So. Yes. Uh -oh, I, life. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. So it, it stays as is. There are no reinstatements just yet. Uh, for now, for today, for yesterday, uh, nobody was reinstated except a new speaker was ratified in mm -hmm. the House yesterday. Okay. All at right. About uh, eleven o'clock in the in the morning. Mm -mm. Okay. Deputy Speaker El Rey Villafuerte said in an interview with ANC yesterday. He said that he believes the majority 
uh, was still with Cayetano and that he did the statesman-like thing to do, gentlemanly and statesman, which was to resign. Uh, actually, I, I refute that uh, those statements by uh, El Rey, no? uh, Congressman El Rey Villafuerte, because uh, October, uh, October 12, at 12 noon, 186 congressmen ousted uh, Alan Peter Cayetano as Speaker of the House of Representatives. At about 12.30, uh, uh, same day, October 12, we elected one, all 186 of us comprising the majority, all voted uh, and elected uh, uh, Speaker Lord Alan Velasco as the new Speaker of the House of Representatives. The next day, October 13, uh, Alan Peter Cayetano, Representative Alan Peter Cayetano, resigned. So I don't think uh, uh, he was he resigned for what purpose, the right? Because he was uh, already ousted a day before. Mm -hmm. so I'm just being factual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Moving now to the budget. What is the agenda for today? Of course, you started deliberating the budget yesterday, and uh, when it was passed. <laughs> percent legit passed on second reading congressman romero there were 18 agencies am i correct that have not been heard uh tama no anong anong nangyari kahapon and what is the agenda for today yes ma'am uh yesterday we have to ratify the election of uh, uh speaker lord alan yeah. in uh, the new plenary which it's it was a makeshift plenary in celebrity no mm -hmm. uh, we believe that uh, we as congressmen and as majority of congressmen comprises the house of representative mm -hmm. not the place so mm -hmm. in doing so we have elected the uh, speaker alan in celebrity and october 13 yesterday we need to ratify him inside congress already and mm -hmm. start the budget deliberations no? as per the the uh, prerogative, the the urgent uh, uh, memorandum of the president for us to finish the budget from October 13 to 16. Mm -hmm. There is still 18, 18 agencies, and out of the 18, we started the budget deliberation yesterday at 3 p.m. and uh, nakatatlo na kami, so ah, it's down, down uh -oh. to 15. Okay. Uh, we can, can, can we you opened name, until about 9 p.m. Oh, can you name the three agencies that were tackled yesterday? Would you have this? Yes, uh, we finished the Commission on Audit yesterday, mm -mm. as well as the Civil Service Commission and mm -hmm. the DSWD. Uh -oh. We finished all three yesterday and we finished at about 9 p.m. Naging business as usual kasi yesterday after installing or uh, ratifying uh, the speakership of Lord Alan Velasco inside the House of Representatives mm -mm -mm. Uh, with again 186 uh, votes or uh, elected uh, votes. Uh, we started the business uh, business as usual for for the whole house. No? Mm -mm -mm -mm. So yun nga, nakatapos kami ng tatlo and uh, mm -mm. today I think we have, wow, Okay, One, two, Be before you go yes. for today, just very quickly, sa DSWD, uh, in the Senate, you have senators uh, wanting uh, to increase the budget of the DSWD. For 2021, it's already increased, but they said that there's no allocation for social uh, for the social amelioration program. Tama pa po ba yan or iba na po ang naipasa nyo kahapon, Congressman? Ma'am, uh, uh, the SA people is part of the Bayanihan 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. no? And uh, I think one of the uh, urgent bills that we will be doing together with the Senate is what we will be calling the Bayanihan 3. And mm -hmm. part of that will be the SAPs. No? Mm -hmm. I think the SAP, some of them are already imputed or nakalagay na dito, plus the Pantawid Familia uh, program, the 4Ps. No? Uh, mm -hmm. are all part of the DSWD. So uh, about 4 million, uh, uh, 
4 million families will be mm -hmm. receiving their regular four piece and for the whole year and siguro mga 18 million more families mm -hmm. uh, will be receiving the SAPs no Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you have the budget in front of you, but is this still correct? In the Senate hearing, uh, the DSWD said that their budget increased by 4.45%. Um, I think is, it, do you have it there at 162.09 billion? Tama ba yung figures natin? Uh, Karen, I think uh, I'll just check uh, yeah. from Congress because we ended late with DSWD. Yeah. I think uh -oh. we finished at 10 p.m. I wasn't in Congress anymore. Yes. Uh -oh. But what you are saying today is magkakaroon ng Bayanihan 3. And that's where you want, that's where the social amelioration for the, the bulk of social amelioration for 2021 will be. Tama ito. This is cash aid. So meron pang separate na budget para sa cash aid for COVID next year. Yes, Karen, the, we will finish first the Bayanihan 2 for this year and then uh -huh. we will again uh, pinag-uusapan pa lang by both uh, houses yung, mm -hmm. uh, what to include and uh, what to be part of the what so what we call, we will be calling the Bayanihan 3. Mm -hmm. um, that is still in work in progress. Especially uh -huh. ngayon na magpalit-palit yung mga yung mga leadership sa house. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Pero itong Bayanihan 3, just for the record, no? of course, this will be discussed when Congress... What's up, everyone? I'm Lady Liberty, a.k.a. Johnny Rice. It's already resume sessions after you go on recess this October or by next year na ito? Or by November ito na, you will be discussing this? Kayan, if, uh, we will be finishing the budget uh, for the whole uh, country. Mm -mm. Ito nga 16 and then we will, Congress will go on recess mm -hmm. until November 16. No? Mm -hmm. uh, November 16, uh, uh, May mga small groups kasi for economics, yeah. for uh, yeah. poverty. So, hahati-hatiin ulit to, no? So, mm -hmm. uh, uulitin natin yung proseso. That will take about two months again. No, oh, okay. Uh, now, kasi hinihimay namin yung mga, ano, yung mga uh, uh, budgets for our Filipino mm -hmm. continent. Okay. Now, the small committee that former Speaker Al Alan Cayetano formed that was supposed to accept the amendments Anong nangyari doon? So, ano nang proseso ngayon for amendments? Uh, Karen, I, I, the budget was reopened. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yung uh, pagmamadali nung Cayetano Cup to end the, the budget on second reading without mm -hmm. even uh, reading about uh, 18 more budgets mm -hmm. uh, was uh, now reopened. No? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yung yung uh, Pag suspend nun, uh, so ngayon, hindi na siya suspended. Balik na naman kami sa floor for uh, yeah. sponsorship and debates uh -oh. until Friday. No? Yeah, so, so technically... Uh, yeah. Patakusin namin. Yeah. So technically, uh, what the former speaker did, right, was already pass the budget invoking Section 55 by uh, terminating budget debates, right? So uh, what yes. you're saying is uh, it's now not passed. You've reopened it. Right? Yes, because we think uh -oh. that it's very unconstitutional in nature. Mm. Kaya, because we did that, we haven't scrutinized half of the agency's budget. The power of the purse is always with Congress. No? And what it means is that uh, we have the oversight uh, powers to scrutinize all the budget. No? Hindi naman pwedeng in total or as is uh, mapasa yun because Mm -mm. Alam natin, yung mga budget, may mga insertions dyan, may mga mm -hmm. kung lump sum. So we need to dissect it more. Ba so I think the Makabayan block or the the, the other blocks are, are already asked uh, also to for the budget to be reopened. And that's exactly what we did. And that's what the, pre the president wanted also. Ba so the controversial uh, budget of Taguig, that is something, if I'm correct, 11 or 12 billion 
and then uh, um, Kamsor, which was something like eight. You can correct me, huh? If, if I'm getting the figures mixed up now, what will happen to that? Will it be um, um, will, will will it be in effect uh, scrutinized again or sabay kam na yon? Uh, all the budgets are uh, being scrutinized at this point, no? uh, regardless of whether it's from Tagig or Kamsur, no. And uh, we will be passing for second reading this Friday, no. So everything is still uh, under uh, budget deliberations. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, pwedeng bumaba ang budget sinasabi mo ng Tagig Kamsur that's been pointed out by Congressman Tevez nung tinanong niya bakit ganun kalaki? Uh, hindi ko pa nakikita yung budget mm -hmm. po ng Tadig and Kamsur. No? But, okay. uh, so I'm not a privy to those uh, uh, things na sinabi ni Congressman mm -hmm. Tevez. Alright. So the agenda for today, Congressman Mikey, uh, anong agencies ang didinggin? So nakatatlo na po kayo kahapon. It will be business as usual. Uh, this morning, we will have the Office of the Vice President, the mm -hmm. state universities and colleges, ang uh, executive offices, uh, mm -hmm. Commission on Higher Education, MTRCB, mm -hmm. Optical Media Board, and then uh, ito pong DAP, Development Academy of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. DPWH is the main event uh, for today. Okay. So, I think this will be at 2 p.m. No, so uh -oh. yung DPWH, uh, DAR, uh, mm -mm. DOTR, no, Comelec. So kung ano matapos ngayon, tatapusin ngayon, and then uh, magdamagan to until tomorrow. Uh -oh, but, Based on schedule po to. Uh -oh. Okay, the DPWH, for example, will you be having enough time? Because, uh, okay, Senator Panfilo Lacson, for example, He flagged 8 billion pesos in uh, lump sum projects, uh, infra projects for the DPWH's 2021 budget. How would you do it then? Would you already look into what Senator Laxon has flagged and already address it in the lower house? Or hihintayin nyo na by camp pa yun? Uh, Definitely, we will uh, open... Uh, what happens kasi sa budget deliberation, we open everything eh, para kaming mga doktor na yung buong anatomy ng isang tao, mm -hmm. bumuksan namin. Mm -hmm. So, it will exactly be the same. No? Bumuksan namin and uh, pag-aaralan namin lahat. And we will question everything, including what uh, Senator Ping Lacson has uh, spoken no. about. But what's interesting... So if, 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 if this takes about 24 hours or the whole uh, two days, we will do it, definitely. No. But then what's interesting is when you look at uh, senators asking uh, about the budget, it's, it's in detail focusing per agency. How do you expect to finish? I think for today, you've mentioned at least five to eight agencies for today. Correct, Congressman? Uh, those agencies are, those are the schedules, no? Mm -hmm. So, uh, depends yan. Kunyari, ang DPWH will be finished in 6 hours or mm. 12 hours. Then the next agency, kaya magdamagan din sila nasa Congress waiting for their turn. No? Oh, oh. So yes. once uh, natapos na to, another agency comes in and then another agency. Oh, oh. This is just the schedule. It, it doesn't mean that they have to. Every, all five agencies will be done all today. Wala kaming... Uh, Ganon, yeah. Uh, but then, on that. with 18 agencies uh, sacrificed because of the leadership intramurals, uh, 18 agencies, no, with you just said, the DPWH uh, being the biggest uh, for today, it's quite surprising that technically it hasn't been scrutinized much earlier. Ang tanong ko, Congressman Mikey, will the House be able to transmit and finish the budget on third reading by October 16, because that was the president's proclamation special sessions 13 to 16. Kakayanin niyo ba? We will uh, try our best to finish uh, on the 16th, no, in time for uh, what the president has stated. But we have us uh, under our rules. We have Section 87. 
convening of the House during a recess. No? Mm. So the Speaker in consultation with uh, the majority and minority leaders and their Senate counterparts may convene the House in session at any time during recess or between sessions mm -mm. to consider urgent legislative matters or concerns like this. Mm -mm. So mm -mm. Uh, we can still convene during recess and in time because we will just we we will pass siguro the budget to the Senate uh, on the third week of October. Mm, third, is, week. Uh, uh -oh. third week? Uh-oh. Third week. Okay, so, so can you give have, me uh, a date? We have time to to extend it. No? Uh -oh. uh, actually, I have to talk to the speaker about the date. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I, I am not the one in charge of uh, finance. No, I did not take the position uh -oh, yeah. of L rate. Yeah. Uh, -oh. uh or yeah. Sorry. But uh, sorry to interrupt you. But one thing is clear: the budget no longer has to be printed. That much I got. You don't have to transmit it to the Senate. You don't have to print it anymore, right? Uh we still have to print. Uh, you it. still do. We still have to okay. give a uh, hard copy, uh, both a soft copy and hard copy to the Senate. Mm, okay, because I interviewed Cause, some. Cause it, 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 on on third reading, you need uh, to have a hard copy. You know? That's uh, part of our rules. Mm. To have a, a hard copy of the NEP or uh, at this point, uh, on, when you read it, it's a third reading, it will be a GAB 1 and GAB 2 already, mm -hmm. which is the mm -hmm. General Appropriations Bill already. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And that the GAB will be the one that will be uh, transmitted to the Senate, no, not uh. the NEP already. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, but uh, no, no, uh, uh, clearly what um, I, I mistook it is um, you don't have to give a copy for third reading to all the congressmen anymore. That's what was said to me on the show. No, no more. That will save time. Eh. Uh, you still have to. Po eh. uh, it's according to our rules to, okay. for each of the congressmen to have a hard copy mm -hmm. of uh, the uh, GAB. Well, before it's voted into third. your money back. Yes, it is uh, necessary and it's part of our rules. Uh -uh. Is it there uh, a more efficient way to do this? I mean, I'm just going, I'm sidetracking here. I mean, number one, printing that much. Uh, you don't do soft it, copies, isn't that a bit? Uh, I mean, at this point in time, Karen, because the 18, for eighteen uh, congresses already, it, it is it is part of our rules that uh, upon third reading, a uh, hard copy mm -mm. of uh, the bill should be on our table at that point. Because yun ang yun ang basis namin for approving uh, such uh, uh, even the national budget uh, for uh, 2021. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, can you name the other agencies that you still need to hear? Well, there's still a lot. Huh? Uh, we have uh, DepEd, we have BICT, uh, Commission on Human Rights, which medyo matagal siguro to. Uh -oh. Pero yung uh, DepEd, the... just quickly, for example, you're just reopening DepEd, but there were budget deliberations on DepEd in the past or completely hindi dinidig yun? Hindi yata dininig because it's part of the uh, uh, agencies that will be uh, deliberated tomorrow mm, thurs or okay. Thursday. I All think right. this is for Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So, All right. Ed, Human Rights, DO, Department of Tourism and Health. Uh, on Friday, we have the Congress, the Office of the President, uh, Department of Energy, DILG, DND, DFA. Ito yung mga natira. Yeah. And then, debate na. Oh, on, pero uh, I, I'm just... Anong ginagawa ng Kongreso all this time? Kung hindi nyo dininig yun. I mean, kung hindi ito dininig ng Kongreso before, when you look at the Senate, I mean, they're deliberating and hearing it every day. You're mentioning so many big agencies that you're telling me has to be heard in the next four days and maybe a few special sessions more. Anong ginawa noon? 
during Speaker Cayetano's time? Uh, I, I, ang ginawa kasi, there, there was a schedule that we need to finish uh, within uh, five days, I think, at that time. But mm. I think it was Tuesday noong uh, uh, sinuspend yung budget and then we passed it on second reading. So, ito mm -hmm. mga to, we did not have a chance to to scrutinize their budget. Yeah. So, two we weeks total, two weeks so. have been put to waste. Ganun ba yun? Two weeks? I think it's about a week, no? Oh. Or was it two? Siguro nga, no? Mm. So, two weeks and nasayang yung time to scrutinize. But in any which way, uh, we are here to work and uh, matatapos namin to by by October 16. If not, we will extend and do, hold the special sessions for a mm -hmm. few days siguro and then we will uh -oh. submit it to the Senate for them. Okay, maybe my last question. We, 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 yung, yung kasing three-day rule mm. was waived already. The three-day rule between the second and third reading the is waived uh -oh. because of the certification of the president mm. that it is urgent. So, if we approve this on second reading, we can, if we have the the hard copies, we can approve the same day for third reading. Mm -mm, so, mm -mm. October 16, kung matapos, we can approve second and third reading all in the same day. Mm, okay, all right. And then submit it next week to the, the Senate. Okay. Now, this is also going to be a test of leadership uh, for um, Speaker Lord um, Alan Velasco. Uh, lessons learned. I mean, you've, you've seen speakers come and go. The most recent one being Alvarez being ousted and GMA being put into uh, the speakership seat. But what mistakes, I guess, do speakers commonly make or leaders make that they don't learn from? And what lessons? What are, what's your takeaway? I mean, at one point, Speaker Cayetano was extremely powerful in the lower house. You know, uh, I was also your guest during... Uh the coup attempt, uh, the coup that, uh, uh, or against the Alvarez. of Alvarez, and then I uh, was uh, for GMA. No? So the lessons learned probably is that uh, the House of Representatives is made up of 300 or more congressmen. Mm -hmm. Not Not by 20 or 25 uh, exclusive uh, mm -hmm members of a part of a group no? mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the other leaders who might be speakers in the future you have to really open up congress uh, hindi lang yung barkadahan system no? mm -hmm. the house of congress is the house of the people and it should remain as the house of the people mm -hmm. on that and note in doing so uh, mm -hmm. sorry uh, today to about two, 240 as of uh, last night. Mm, okay. Uh, actually, nawala yung audio. Can you repeat what you said as of today? Sorry, as of uh, yet last night, uh, from 186, the majority that signed already is uh, already 240. Okay. 200... 240 congressmen yes. out of the 301. And so... I think it will end to about 260. Mm, okay, so 240 congressmen out of 299 members of the House have already signed uh, for uh, Velasco as Speaker of the House. Okay. Yes, right. uh, we're now 301 because we uh, sw swore in to congressman yesterday. Uh -oh. Okay, very quickly, no, that's quite controversial. Ang tanong nga is why, why was... Uh, why was um, um, Cardema's wife already sworn in? Uh, he, well, from the she, part of Congress. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with uh, with uh, the certificate of proclamation from uh, the COP for coming from the Comelec. Mm -mm. So everything was in order. So we swore, swore in... Uh, uh, the the thirty youth uh, party list yesterday. Mm -mm. Okay, all right, and very quickly, um, Paulo Duterte was uh, 
uh, was made to be in charge of accounts. So these are the internal expenses, essentially, of the lower house. Oh, there are questions all over social media. Was that a post given to him as a reward of some sort? Why that post? I, I don't know. No. Uh, these posts are very uh, close to the heart of the speaker. So it's uh, what we call the the speaker's choice. No? If mm. he has the confidence to put uh, Ulong as one of his uh, trusted men's accounting or his accounts, then uh, it's the speaker's choice. Mm. Okay. On that uh, note... The trusted confidence is with Ulong, I think. Mm. Sorry about that. Okay. Congressman Mikey Romero, I want to thank you for finally saying yes to our interview. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, Karen, siguro in ending, uh, we are back. The House of Representatives is back, in, uh, back to work. And uh, as of today, we are uh, one solid and unified Congress. And uh, we expect to give our help to the Filipino people. Nandito na po kami, natapos na. The, everything is over and everything is back. Uh, to where it should be back in business. Mm. Thank okay. you, Karen. All right. Thank you very much. Stay strong and stay safe, sir. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. Head start. We'll be right back.